Welcome to How to Cook That, I'm Ann Reardon and today we're going to make a Mickey Mouse cake. Now the difficulty with making a 3D Mickey Mouse cake is if you look at a drawing of Mickey Mouse from the side, his nose actually comes right up above his eye level and if we turned him to the front view, he would look rather strange with his nose right above it. So what we'll do is just build it up slightly to give it a 3D look to it and make it look like the pictures drawn of the front of the face. To start with, you need to grease a 20 centimetre or 8 inch baking tin and line it with some baking paper. You also need to do the same with two breakfast bowls. The ones that I used were 17 and a half centimetres across the top. Put all your ingredients for your vanilla cake into a bowl and mix it until it's just combined and smooth. For all the recipe quantities, go to the website howtocookthat.net. There's a link in the description below this video. Put some of the mixture into the tin and then some into each of the bowls. And then you're also going to need one cupcake case. Put some mixture into that as well. Bake it in the oven until a skewer inserted into the middle of the cake comes out clean without any mixture on it and then they're ready. Allow them all to cool. And then level off the top of the round cake but keep that spare piece that you've cut off because you're going to need it later. Take a cake board and cover it in a piece of aluminium foil. The board that I'm using is just a piece of MDF with four smaller pieces stuck to the bottom to make it easy to lift it up and move it and then secure your foil on the back using sticky tape. Put a smear of buttercream on the foil that helps stop the cake from moving and then place your round cake on the board. Use the cake as a template to cut the curve out of each of your ears so that they'll sit nicely against the head. Cover the face in buttercream, then take the piece that you took off the top and put it over the bottom of the face about at the cheek level and trim it using the cake as a guide. Then add the bits you cut off the ears just above that for the cheeks and then take the cupcake that you had and trim it around so it fits on the bottom to make the chin and gives that little bit of a rise at the bottom of the chin. Then using a finely serrated knife, carefully just round off the edges of your cake to give it a rounder look to it. Then what you want to do is cover that whole thing in buttercream and then cover your ears in frosting and put them to one side. Then take some good quality paper towel and put it on top of the buttercream and you just gently press and rub and it smooths out any of those little bumps and lumps in the buttercream from when you were spreading it on and do the same with the ears so you have a nice smooth finish. If the paper towel starts to stick, just get a new piece of paper towel. You might need to use several pieces to do it. Clean up your cake board and get rid of any of the crumbs. And then take some black fondant. When I'm working with black fondant, I always buy pre-coloured. If you try and colour your own, you end up with grey. Roll it out big enough to cover the top of the cake and make the bottom edge curved and roll it really thin so that it can sit under another layer of fondant without you being able to see it. And lay it over the top part of the cake so it needs to be from the cheek level up. Roll out some more and use that to wrap up each of the ears and then you can put them into place. Then you want to take some pink fondant for the tongue, roll it out and cut out the top shape for the tongue and then using a rolling pin what you want to do is make the bottom edge, you can leave the bottom bigger than you think it needs to be because that's fine but we need to roll the bottom edge so that it goes down to paper thin so that we don't get a groove from it. You'll see what I mean in a minute. If you've not worked with fondant before, I've done a video on how to make fondant and also how to colour fondant and working with fondant basics. If you look in the description below this video, there is a link to a video playlist called Cake Decorating Tutorials and those videos are all in there. Roll out some more black fondant and cover over the mouth area and then add the tongue, trimming it up if it's too big, make it a little bit smaller. Then roll out some fondant into a ball shape and then make it a cylinder that goes smaller on the edges and then slightly bend it into a moon shape, put one for each cheek and then you want one in the middle in the nose area. Roll out your skin coloured fondant and cut out the shape for the top of the eyes and the cheeks and then place that over your cake. Then gently, you should be able to feel where the mouth goes, cut out the mouth shape to reveal the tongue that you already put in place. Then use your fingers to smooth the fondant around the cheeks and the nose and you're getting that 3D look coming through already. Trim off the excess fondant using a knife and then around the chin area just 
pull up the fondant, tuck it back in, pull it up, tuck it in until it's nice and smooth. Then trim slightly larger than you think you're going to need and then use a knife to tuck it in so it's all nice and neat on the sides. Then use something round, I'm using a medicine cup, just to make that indent for the top of the smile just where the cheeks start. Use a piece of paper towel to brush off any excess icing sugar that you might have got on the black and make sure the black is all smooth and clean. To make the eyes, take a piece of white fondant and roll it into a ball and then cut it in half. This will give you two equal pieces so that your eyes are going to be the same. Then roll them into a cylinder and then using a rolling pin, flatten that out to make the eye shape. Put them together next to each other and then I'm using the medicine cup again just to cut around the base to give the shape of the cheeks so that then you can just place them into place where they should go. Trim the outside corner of the eye to make it rounded and take a small amount of black fondant and roll it into a ball and cut it in two. Then roll each one of those into a ball and then elongate the ball and squash it to make an oval shape and place them into place for the pupils of the eyes and make sure they're exactly in line with each other. Take a good sized chunk of black fondant and roll it into an oval shape and put it in place for the nose. Then take a tinsy amount of white and roll it out into a tiny oval and place it on the very top side of each of the eyes. This just helps bring the eyes to life a bit and then repeat that with a tiny bit on the tongue to make a highlight on that as well. Lastly, roll out some fine snakes out of black fondant. If you haven't done that before, it might take a bit of practice to get them smooth and equal the whole way. And use that to outline all of the facial features. Because it is a cartoon, it looks better if it's got that black outline all the way around. And use a knife to help you position them perfectly. If you have any other suggestions for videos, put them in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe. See you next week. Bye.